What's up guys? This episode, I wanna compare and contrast why you might wanna use JSON web tokens over Rails session cookies. So they take a very, very similar approach, but they're different in some fundamental ways that give you pros and cons for each approach. So I wanna explain that because I haven't found any good information on these two things as to why you would possibly wanna use one over the other. So let's start by taking a look at the format of a JSON web token. We have one here, it is the encoded version of it. So this red part equates to a JSON hash and each of these pieces is actually base64 encoded. So encoding in base64 is really just plain text code but encoded in a way that makes it kind of not readable to human beings but it makes it nice and URL safe. So there's no special characters in there and uh, it can be shortened up. So we'll see here that you see the algorithm um, when we take that first. 